Hey there, everybody. Hello, and welcome to Relax Mail Reviews. I'm Brian, and this today we are going to be talking about the High Sierra Pathway 50 liter backpack. Hey there, but hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail Reviews. All right, so this week, uh, this month uh, for the review, uh, I've got a little bit of a change. It's still camping. It's still outdoor. Um, it's not a, <laughs> it's, it's not a, uh, it's not a gardening tool of some sort. Um, it is something that every camper needs to have when they're going out uh, camping, especially if they're going into uh, going. Uh, primitive camping and going away from the parking area and that is a backpack now I had a backpack and I had this old guy and this I don't even can't even tell you what the brand is I this one right here is 25 years old I have uh, used it for traveling I have used it for whenever I am in uh, whenever I am going out to, uh, on on jobs things like that this is what i packed up and what i store everything in and it worked great until about uh last year all of a sudden i started getting plagued with i got a busted buckle and i was like oh okay well i can handle that and then i went off and oh about uh three four months ago i went off and accidentally shut the uh the shut the the end in a uh, for the other buckle in the in the door and it broke off it just snapped it and so now i've got no buck no no uh clips for uh for the hood so but this one this type of this particular uh bag from what i've been able to figure out look and uh, and be able to understand it's essentially about a 50 liter bag it's about the same size as the one we're about to review um just your big ordinary style bucket style of uh of style uh backpack but i wanted something that would help because i'm getting ready uh here in a couple more years i my uh, goal is to go walk the uh, uh the camino de santiago if you know so i'm needing something that i can kind of break in start get, really getting the sense of what it's like to actually walk with a proper backpack on so went out and uh, found this guy and I haven't gotten in all reality I haven't gotten much use from it as of yet but uh, this is actually my first frame backpack and it does have a frame it's actually the frame itself is uh, it's got a, a cardboard back or not cardboard but plastic backing and then it's got a, a, a solid spine that runs up and down um, so and as you can see, as you can tell, they're both about the same size, uh, length, lengthwise, uh, going from top to bottom. So, uh, which is what kind of surprised me. I was uh, expecting a uh, 50 liter to go be a, maybe a little bit bigger, because I wasn't sure exactly. Well, first off, as you can tell by how I talk, I, I'm American, so liter. The closest thing we understand what a liter is is a liter size bottle of Coke. So, <laughs> uh, and I was trying to picture, well, what would 50 Cokes look like in here? And I was getting really huge ideas. But um, anyhow, so wanted to kind of start out with uh, with what I've noticed about this bag so far, um, and uh, I am going to probably take it on a little quick. Uh, six mile jaunt uh, just so that I can see what how it works now beforehand before I di start digging into this and and, and uh, showing you all the compartments and zippers and things like that uh, go ahead and we'll just kind of start on the outside uh, there one of the big things that I noticed right off the bat that I really kind of, really like about this is the fact that yeah there are several different compartments you have got two side compartments uh, that you can put uh, quick access stuff. I've got webbing compartments down here on the sides that also help uh, with being able to for quick access stuff so if I wanted to have you know some type of uh, 
uh, band-aids or compasses or, or things like that. I could put these in these quick access uh, uh, netted areas. Um, this also has uh, loops for your uh, trekking poles. But yeah, I also am seeing here this, and I'm uh, more than likely will be using trekking poles. But uh, when I do walks, but at the same time, if not, those are perfect places to be able to start hanging uh, carbiners off of. Uh, we have loops on the bottom so that you can put a a sleeping bag. Now, what size? I honestly don't know. Um, I don't think my. Uh, uh, my uh, my big and tall sleeping bag that I have right now will fit that thing real well because it looks like uh, the largest it gets is maybe half the size of what my sleeping bag is. So I may be having to look for a uh, a lighter weight uh, sleeping bag that I can stuff in there or 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 what. But anyhow, you've got a place down here on the bottom that works for. Uh, that is used for holding your sleeping bag. Um, in the, uh, uh, you also have added, uh, you've got some take up straps here. So if you don't happen to have your backpack stuffed to the max, you can actually, to keep things from, uh, from walking. And if you're out walking and you've got a, a loose bag, you know, your weight will sit there and be swinging in here, which throws you around. So if you're having to start using a lot of excess energy when this is swinging around, so you've actually got uh, some some extra, uh, some straps right here to be able to take up the excess uh, space so you can tighten your bag up. So if you're, for those times that you're actually going out and walking on a, uh, with a lighter, uh, lighter pack. So external wise, uh, you have, uh, you also have a, a hanging loop, but also one of the greatest things I have seen is it's actually got a carrying handle. So if you're uh, getting ready, if you want to take this, you know, traveling, I think I believe that's probably the right size to be able to take that on board a, a plane. So you can actually carry that and set that up in the overhead and that should work quite well. Um, for, stra uh, for your straps, uh, you have... Uh, get back over onto this side uh, for the straps you have got uh, they, they call it airflow but these are the the back portions Let's see if I can get that flipped up and around out of the way there we go uh, the back portion here is actually very uh, is, is is a mesh with a uh, with kind of a foam on the inside so you are going to allow yourself to allow your back to breathe as it instead of having like this bad guy it was nothing but slight bit of padding not much padding at all and, and it's but it, and even though it's worn down a little bit it was this rucksack itself was didn't have the padding at all for it and unlike this where it's got some really for in and from my my experience that's some really plush padding uh and so you have it on your for the upper part of your back which is right here, you've got your shoulders are just, at, they're a little bit more denser, but at the same time, they were designed to be able to hold uh, your waist at the lower, your lumbar has got a nice big round, uh, the lumbar has got a big, nice round uh, uh, lumbar support area. Um, as you can see, you've got the, uh, you've got the, the frame, uh, being exposed right there. You've also got uh, the side for your waist and uh, set on the hips. You've got some good uh, good padding on that as well. Uh, big thick uh, clips. Uh, neat thing that the other item I, I, I like is the fact that you've actually, if you wanted to walk without having to have the clips, you don't have to worry about having everything flop around. You can actually tighten that up and use these uh, straps to actually tighten it up and keep these out of the way so you might walk, look like you're walking around with wings on. But uh, it actually is, uh, it, it actually helps to, uh, to, to fashion so that you're able to, to walk when, in whatever way you want. Now, in the compartment wise, uh, we will start out with, uh, on the top, 
you've got one uh, one compartment on the very top this is again probably good for like uh, rain flies if you happen to have one which I'm probably going to need to see what it costs to buy a rain fly for this guy uh, probably stuff that in there or a poncho if you happen to be needing one for that uh, some other quick access items that you can just pull out of the top of your uh, uh, top of your hood from there we have uh, the front compartment here and this front compartment has got several different layers so you can if you want maps you've got or, or other flat items you've got a, a large space that you can put here maybe uh, you've got a couple other smaller uh, compartments that let's get this up to where you can see it so for the front uh, for the front compartment here you've got a large compartment in here that allows for like maps or or other uh, large flat items you also have two uh, two compartments that have a mesh on it that put like uh, canteen bottles drinking bottles things along those lines and then you've got a very large just front uh, space that you're able to add other stuff too so you've got a lot of room just in this one particular compartment and it goes from from right here to up here so you've got a lot of excess space in here one of the other things I really like about on the outside is there are a lot of other loops that, so that you can actually go through here. Right here I've got one, two, three, you got four loops that you can actually add carbiners to and be able to clip other things onto. So maybe you've got um, some some rope that you're wanting to, to hold onto. I'm just using an example. I would I don't honestly know. I don't do much in the way of climbing. So, But uh, you've got lots of places you can hook uh, carbiners onto and you can hook carbiners and other uh, and other items too and you lots of lots of configurations that you can do stock without even adding your own uh, wanted uh, and self desired uh, modifications so you've got two side compartments and the side compartments are they're as you can see they're oh I don't know probably about four inches wide be able to add some uh, maybe a water bottle in here they're not all that deep though they end basically right where this uh, where this mesh uh, where the mesh in uh, starts so right about here is where this side compartment ends which is really is really kind of sad because you've got a whole extra you could have brought it all the way down and added a whole lot more space to that uh, for the other side it is the same thing just it ends really abruptly just right there at the uh, where you, where your mesh uh, mesh bag begins so again I, I really would I think it'd been better if they had just allowed it to extend the other two and a half three inches and uh, given everybody a lot more room quite easily and it wouldn't have been any extra uh, space now for the main area is right up here on top and here you have a, uh, a clip and something I am not a hundred percent sure of and uh, we'll talk about this here in a bit but uh, you have a you have a clip right here but then you have a zipper and I don't know if you can tell that that zipper is on backwards and there is nothing on the back that shows any access to it and as a matter of fact they don't even have the uh, the tongue to grip the hold with so I think this is just so that you can take the uh, the backboard out of uh, out of this and make it a non frame uh, backpack but on all honesty I don't see why you would want to do that but uh, it is a it is a possibility um, one other thing that I did see, and I'm assuming that's what, and I'm assuming that's what this space right back here is for, is, and what this clip is for, is you can actually carry about a two liter uh, water bladder. So you can put it in here, uh, stuff it in here, you can hang it up, and right here is where your tube comes through. So. You string your through, tube through there, and then you're able to just clip it on to wherever, uh, wherever you can find that you can put. Um, 
so you're you're able to put a a two to three liter uh, water bladder in here so that you can walk and actually stay hydrated which is again a very good thing but other than that it is just this all you have in here from there is this huge let's see if I can get this up here cavernous I mean I can get my whole arm in there um, cavernous space so you have uh, you've got a warehouse full uh, a space worth of of, of packing so you can put your your camping stoves and, and and other assorted items in here and it'd be able to uh, so anyhow you can you've got a huge amount of space for just a for the amount of uh, though that doesn't have the compartments I would really like if this uh, if this backpack did have at least a couple compartments on the inside here just to break things up so if you're in the middle of the night you can be able to dig in there and go all right well we're two compartments over so go one feel for the second all right we're two compartments that's the second compartment so you're able to reach in and just kind of fiddle around and find what you're wanting to it'd be a lot easier if you had the compartments as a means of navigation but um all in all this i i'm uh, looks wise and all it's a it's a sharp looking uh, uh, framed backpack uh, 50 liter uh, by uh, by high Sierra uh, it does have one of the other things I know I forgot to mention is the uh, the the sternum strap which uh, clip you're able to clip on it also is adjustable so you can actually take each of them and go all the way down to to the to the bottom if you wanted to or you can go all the way up depending on you know what your uh, what your need is I've noticed a lot of people who will walk with those uh, often you know crank right up here underneath their their uh, their chin that might be the best way to carry it I don't know I haven't actually uh, my uh, my rucksack has a sternum strap, but I didn't ever really use it just because I didn't carry a whole lot of really heavy stuff in there. But anyhow, so there you have it. I will be uh, coming up here in a, a bit. You're going to see me. I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, 25 pounds worth of, of weight in here and just to see and go take a quick walk and see what it feels like to have, you know, some some weight stuck onto your uh, onto your back as you're as you're walking and see if that uh, see how it uh, give it a test drive and see what how that works so anyhow we will do that now all right so here's what everything is looking like as of right now I went ahead and I've stuck probably about four maybe five Stephen King books in here so I've got about 20 pounds where the stuff and I went ahead and filled everything out with um, just some sweatshirts and stuff just to take up the space so as you can see everything is just minus the minus the hat <laughs> um, so as you can see the the kind of the overall shape of what the uh, the high Sierra pathway 50 liter kind of looks like um, all in all, with it, with the way that everything is setting as of right now, I think I've got everything set up fairly correctly. Most of the weight is setting on the hips, not so much on uh, pulling on the pulling back on the back. So, and again, I guess the the sternum strap just ends up being in the most comfortable place is just right there underneath the chin. So, bam! Uh, I'll go. I'm gonna go take this out for uh, for a little test drive. Do a little bit of pointing out points that I'm noticing on here and we'll we'll go from there hey there everybody all right so making the first turn I'm just going to actually I've decided I'm just going to do a, a mile 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 just do a, a, a section a section walk so as just a, an initial test and of course I would start talking and cause the dogs to start barking so anyhow so we'll do this here in a moment all right, everybody. Uh, so instead of doing a, a really long one, I'm just going to do probably a little four-mile jaunt 
so anyhow uh at the moment uh this time walking with uh with the bag it's i mean it you can feel that it, you've got something on your back it's not anything horrendously terrible it's not overly heavy i mean i could be could be my uh just everybody goes well yeah the first mile is the easy one uh, second mile is usually the killer um i have not gone uh gone hiking with a backpack on me and you know 25 yeah since i was probably about 18 19 maybe 20 so that's 25 years ago <laughs> and so uh getting figured out figuring out what and how everything is going to uh, work and how it feels it is going to be a new learning experience for me because well i mean heck, everything uh out there these days is, is new so uh at the moment within the first for the uh for the first quasi mile and uh everything seems to be quite all right so uh we'll keep going and we'll see what uh mile number two has all right so now going down the back stretch here so we're well into mile number two and uh so far it, the for 25 pounds i figured 25 pounds is going to be feel a lot heavier than what it does uh maybe because i've got it stuffed 25 pounds feels a lot uh a lot lighter than what i thought it was going to be i figured it would be you know by about mile two i'd start kind of aching but uh there's nothing uh about the only thing i've noticed is paul making like b-roll shots things like that um i have an issue with the pack wanting to ride up on my on my waist a little bit so i have to readjust if i bend over to uh to pick up the the, the phone or camera uh but other than that there's not much that uh that i'm noticing I'm, that's wrong with the backpack itself now i'm realizing i've got other issues <laughs> but uh, one being the camera itself is uh uh or the phone itself apparently my battery is starting to give out because it's gone and within two miles of shooting and all that i have gone through uh about uh, 30 percent of my battery so going through a little bit faster uh the other only other thing is apparently i've got a little tightness in one shoulder and i don't think that is a uh a backpack issue because uh, i experience that from time to time without the backpack so but other than that just uh being out of shape <laughs> so but it's uh so far uh, the the high sierra uh pathway 50 is a uh, is a nice little uh nice little backpack to uh to use to to do some uh do some walking Big hill, big hill. <laughs> so, all right, uh, made it back and uh, did a little, just a hair over four miles. And all in all, not bad, for, not bad performance for a, uh, for a bag. Um, yeah, definitely uh, got a little sweat on there i'm sure <laughs> you can probably see it on the shirt um so but anyhow um yeah uh, all in all it's not a bad little backpack i'm i like it uh didn't have any weird wear areas except on my shoe uh did learn a lesson from there that is um if you're gonna go hike get yourself some uh uh Put on some good socks <laughs> because I, apparently I blew out mine and that last mile was starting to start to get a little painful. So, but anyhow, uh, that is the, uh, this here is the, get everything back on, it is uh, the Pathway uh, 50. 
a backpack made by a high sierra uh like i said i i, I like it it's uh it's a it's gonna be a good bag i think it'll it's gonna work great especially for the camino walk uh um it's i don't uh didn't after four miles of walking back didn't hurt uh, I figured tw having 25 or 20 pounds on that was going to definitely cause me to feel it just because I my back wasn't uh, wasn't used to carrying 25 extra pounds. But um, yeah, it's it works. It's good. I'm not going to have a complaint about it uh, at, at this moment. So um, did want I did uh, pull up the uh, the info card. So. Just kind of give you a few of the specs as to what's on this, uh, what this is. The uh, the frame here, that uh, uh, this right here, which runs the full length of the uh, of the backpack, and that was a sticker in my gut that was not comfortable. Um, the the, uh, the frame here is all made of is uh, is an aluminum, so it's not plastic. It's not going to you know flex and and wear out. The uh, you actually have a water resistant, what do they call it? Let me pull out my handy dandy card here. So, there we go. Uh, you also have a uh, water resistant accessory pocket. Front pocket, as you saw. Uh, so, the front pocket. Uh, definitely has all the organization port parts in it so in case you're wondering what the uh, dimensions are it's actually a 23 inch see it's 23 inch by 12 and a half inch by 9 inch so it's you know 23 by 12 and a half by 9 deep so information card <laughs> helps <laughs> so but anyhow it does uh it is a uh uh it is useful. I'm gonna like it. I would, if you uh, find, uh, if you'd like to uh, try to ha have one too and find this uh, useful, there's a link uh, down below that you can actually take uh, and takes you over to uh, the Amazon area so that you can uh, order one yourself. So anyhow, you have a great day. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.